My name is Bill Pelly, and I'm a volunteer with the William Way Center. And in particular, I'm a volunteer with the Connecting Generations program. The Connecting Generations program is uh, really uh, near and dear to my heart. It's, it's a program where we try to match uh, seniors in the community with younger people in the community. When we go through uh, the matches, we really first try to match people that have uh, things in common with one another. I have one person who's been assigned to me who's 20 years older than myself, and uh, he's a retired clinical psychologist. And um, we, we socialize. We either go to the theater or we go out to have dinner or we'll just take a long walk somewhere and uh, we learn from each other. You know, he gives me the perspective of his generation, and I in turn, you know, use that to help me get through life at where I'm at right now. It's really been very impactful. It's helped to grease the wheels on my spiritual path. I feel more spiritual, and I feel like my life is uh, more fulfilling uh, I just feel like I'm sort of floating or dancing through life rather than walking through life with heavy shoes. We really try to go out and let seniors know uh, that we have these senior programs and that they are fun and that they are enjoyable and they can be as social you know, as they can be or they can be just somebody that needs, you know, that, that we can help you. Within the past two years, um, my mother died. Um, my mother actually died in my partner's arms, and then shortly after that, my partner died. And um, it just really stung me, these two deaths of two of my loved ones. And we all lived together um, in Center City here. My mother had her own apartment, but we had our apartment in the same building, so we were very close, the three of us. And uh, now I feel somewhat isolated. Um, so in part to uh, uh, help me uh, get my attention off myself and cut through my own loneliness, I uh, decided to volunteer. And those two deaths uh, really affected me, and I'm still grieving from those deaths, but the deaths also strengthened me in a way that it was a wake-up call, like do I really want to spend the rest of my life you know, doing the same in the secular world doing the same crazy stuff I used to do. I mean, it wasn't really crazy, but, you know, um, partying a lot. And I just said, no, it's, I want my life to be more than that. And I want to give to, I have a lot to give, and I want to give it back to the community and, and just give it to more people. I think there's a stigma sometimes that you know, uh, people don't want to ask for help, and this is a way of asking for help, but it's really not. It's just a way to stay in the community and stay connected. And uh, most in every case, what we find is that the seniors give back more to these volunteers than the volunteers could ever give to these seniors. So I think if seniors just realize that they have a lot to offer uh, and, and really think of it as helping us a little bit, you know, it would be wonderful. It's just lightened up my life and uh... I'm, I really have begun to experience through my volunteer work at the uh, William Way and through the two deaths that have occurred of my two loved ones that we're spiritual beings. We're basically spiritual beings trying to have a human experience rather than human beings trying to have a spiritual experience. And this whole volunteer effort really puts you on that plane and makes you more aware of what life is really about.